Um, the voting session, of, of course, is where the final decision is made by the voters as to whether to adopt the proposed uh, town meeting warrant and the budget. Um, so in the March town meeting, uh, the second Tuesday in uh, March, and, or the second Tuesday in April, or the second Tuesday in May, uh, is the traditional date for town meeting. And that's a ballot session that's all done in the voting booth. Um, and it's the, the warrant is presented uh, just as if it was a uh, an election, um, but this time it's I guess similar to what you might have seen in the past when you were voting just on the zoning amendments. You'll have this ballot content that has to be voted on, uh, yes or no. Um, the thing to keep in mind uh, is that the way in which the ballot is presented or information that you might want to provide to support warrant articles uh, is important. So many town meetings uh, who are under the SB2 form of government will oftentimes take steps after the deliberative session to present voters guides to supplement the information that won't be there before them on the ballot by itself. You know, prepare a voters guide that describes the articles in more detail, post those voters' guides on the town's website, distribute them, uh, do webinars such as this or other presentations. Because again, you have to spend some to the selectmen, the budget committee, or other governing bodies have to spend some time to get the word out about what the ballot uh, is all about, what's on the warrant, or what's important, what, what impact it will have on the town, because you don't have that chance to do that anymore at just the town meeting. And again, if you don't have a lot of people attending the deliberative session, they won't have that information to make a, an informed judgment on. In the next slide, a description which is similar to the uh, description you would find in the zoning and planning statutes on how an SB2 town goes about adopting an ordinance. And I think the point here was to make it easier for towns to post their warrant. And some towns were finding it that they really felt it was essential that they print the entire content of a proposed ordinance or amendment in the town warrant. And of course, that would make a very long ballot. And so the, uh, the statute has been uh, modified to make clear that you can use a topical description methodology for describing an ordinance. And the language, which is on the, the next page, is very similar to the language of how you would adopt the form of an ordinance uh, with regards to zoning and planning. They basically took the zoning and planning statute, which is I believe 675 colon, 675 colon 4, and, and adopted the same language so that it's clear you don't have to print the entire content of a proposed ordinance uh, on the ballot. You can be done by reference to a topical description so long as a full copy of the proposed ordinance can be found uh, at appropriate places in town such as the town hall, town library, etc. Now the voting at the next session as indicated on the next slide conforms to all of the standard procedures for nonpartisan balloting including the requirements pertaining to absentee voting, polling place, and polling hours. So uh, the election that will take place at the voting booth on the date of the vote on the town warrant is going to follow the, all the same procedures that you would have for a normal ballot vote uh, for candidates for election. Uh, and again, as I've said previously, you also have to have another checklist, uh, supervisors of checklist meeting, uh, I believe again it's the 6 to 13 days, uh, Saturdays, the, six, the Saturday 6 to 13 days prior to the date set for the second session. Um, approval of all worn articles is by simple majority, except where necessary at two-thirds or an SB2 town, uh, the uh, adoption of a, an article to raise and appropriate money by bonded indebtedness over $100,000 or just any bonded indebtedness is by three-fifths um, or, or unless required by law, contract, or the written agreement. So it's basically simple majority or by two-thirds or three-fifths depending upon whether a particular law or statute applies. Votes taken at the second session cannot be reconsidered. So again, this is unless unlike regular town meeting, if you were at town meeting, uh, and you felt that, you know, you wanted to reconsider the vote on the warrant uh, concerning the budget, you could, you know, at 11 o'clock at night make a motion to reconsider unless somebody had restricted reconsideration. Um, that is 
clearly not possible at the ballot session of this type. Uh, votes taken at the second session are subject to recount, um, and so you can ask for a recount. Uh, and I've seen that done on a number of occasions where uh, votes were particularly close, especially on the on the, the budget article. 